Tampa Bay's apartment market continues to struggle with a large stock of single-family homes and condos that are falling into the rental pool, and that is impeding the recovery of the apartment sector. Vacancies remain problematic, and rent growth levels are easing. Welcome to Apartment Market Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons with your Tampa Bay update. Tampa Bay's apart market is one of the few nationally to see revenue growth levels decline from 2010 to 2011. Take a look at this chart showing annual revenue change by quarter, and you can see that year-over-year -year revenue growth levels hit 4.5% in Q1 2011, but they have eased in each of the past three quarters, downgrading Tampa from an overachiever to a below-average performer. Revenue growth for 2011 came in at 3.4%, well below the national average of 5.8%. The slowdown is coming on both the occupancy side and the pricing side. Both saw increases in 2011, but not quite to the same degree seen in 2010. Let's take a look at a chart showing occupancy rates. Overall occupancy is now at 92.4%. That is down 0.3 points in the quarter, but up 0.5 points annually. And it's disappointing not to see more progress over the past year, given the number of vacancies here. But again, competition from the shadow market, those single family homes and condos that are offered for rent, are, and plus just the fact that there's way too many total housing options in the Tampa Bay area, that is just making it difficult to backfill apartment vacancies. And even in the top tier, which has generally done well all across the country and in the South, uh, the overall occupancy in the apartments built since 2000 remains below 94%. And on the pricing side, you can see here that the, the same trend that we saw the revenue change numbers. Year-over-year -year rent growth numbers have eased in each of the past three quarters from 3.8% in Q1 to just 2.9% in Q4. The U.S. average was 4.7% growth in 2011. We're seeing the shift in pricing strategies all across the metro area, but we're going to highlight five that had particularly notable downward shifts in rent growth. This graphic is showing you annual rent change in Q1 2011 and annual rent change as of Q4 2011 for these five submarkets. You see Peninsula drop from 7.9% growth in Q1 to 4.5% as of Q4, Brandon from 7.4% to 2.5%, Northeast Hillsboro from 7.3% to 1.7%, Town & Country from 3.8% to 2.8%, and Central Pinellas from 3.1% to 1.6%. Now, Tampa is adding jobs again, and that is good to see, but the depth of the losses here from the downturn remains so deep that it's going to take a number of years for Tampa Bay's total employment levels to catch up to where they were prior to the recession. And when you add to that the fact that the shadow market of single-family homes and condos offered for rent should remain a significant factor through 2012 at least, and that's going to make it difficult for the apartment sector here to see much progress in 2012. All in all, look for revenue growth levels in 2012 to be pretty similar to what we saw in 2011 for Tampa's apartment sector. And that wraps up for Tampa Bay. So until next time for Apart Mark Dynamics and MPF Research, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's Apartment Market Reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, NPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.